Welcome back. You're still tuned into Trading R. The market has slipped below the 17,000 mark. Remember, the 200 DMA was at uh, 16,987, so we're less than 10 points away from that mark. So do keep your eye out on the market. But in the meantime, let's get a corporate conversation going. As promised, we have Railtel Corporation joining us now. The company entered into an agreement with NMDC to implement digital transformation services for the miner. To discuss this, along with the business outlook for the rest of the year, we have Sanjay Kumar, CMD at Railtel Corporation, joining us now. Mr. Kumar, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. This is Pavitra. Uh, first off on this order, if you could just tell us a little bit about it and uh, what is the size of the order as well? Uh, see, this is the uh, kind of memorandum of understanding we have signed with NMDC. So numbers will be coming uh, in the later part of the year uh, and, and we cannot disclose right now. But yeah, this will be a, a very uh, good uh, uh, partnership. We will be basically partnering with them for their digital transformation. And your full, uh, for your current complete order book is around 6,000 crores? Uh, it's close to 5,800, yeah. Okay, and go ahead. No, no, sir, it was 5,800 even at the end of Q1, right? So you're saying that yeah. in the last uh, three months there hasn't been any increase in your order book? No, there has been increase. Uh, uh, in fact, we have uh, got close to eight, 800 to 900 crores of new orders. Okay. Uh, so, and but there are implementations also going on, so which are getting converted into our revenue. So, Q2 order wins were between 800 to 900 crore in Q2. No, that that uh, yeah, you were talking about H1. No, so Q1 we know, right? You got new orders worth 662 crore. Wanted to know what the comparable number in Q2 would be. Q2 numbers, I can only say that uh, since this is a silent period, so we can't disclose that number. That number will be, of course, uh, known to you. But yeah, we will be going stronger in Q2 as well, even stronger than Q1. Okay, so we're guessing more than 660 crores then in Q2, but you said 5,800 crores is the... Uh... I not say any number. Okay. So that, yeah. Okay, all right. So you said 5,800 crores is your current order book. Can you tell us what part of this you're looking to execute in this year in FY23? Uh, FY23, we expect uh, out of this 5,800 or so numbers, I think we'll be... Uh, uh, implementing around 1,000 crores or so. Okay. Uh, could you give yeah. us some indication of how big this NMDC order could be? Is it 100, 200? Is it more than 500 crore order? Uh, I, as I told you, this is not the right time for me. Okay. Maybe next time when we interact, I'll be able to uh, share the numbers. Okay. Um, if you could tell us about the telecom revenue, we did see that it, you know, saw quite a contraction. Can you tell us what's happening on that front, and is this something that we could see reversing um, in Q2? Sorry, once again. Can the telecom please... revenue, we did see yeah. that dipping so, earlier. So can yeah. Generally, this is a cyclical trend uh, has been there uh, with Railtel's customer portfolio in telecom sector. So generally, there has been pressure on Q1, and uh, it, it gets marginalized uh, when as we progress uh, through other quarters. So, in so Q Q4 is the in telecom, yeah. So in Q1, your margins were under pressure. I think consolidated margins were about 17 and a half, 18 percent. Has there been a recovery in margins since? And if yes, if you could tell us what was driving it? Uh, I would again say that Q1 is is a different quarter for us, and uh, overall margins over a Years annual uh, margins are uh, would be healthy, and we will be maintaining these same margins. Okay, so if you um, leave out Q1 and the rest of the margins, I'm seeing for Q4 it was at around 20 percent. Before that, we saw around 30 percent. So, what kind of levels should we expect now? Uh, we'll be maintaining same margins of around 27 to 28 percent by the end of the financial year. That much I can share because. Uh, we are now, we have started taking up more projects and the share of projects is also growing as, as a part of uh, overall uh, revenue uh, of, for us. But I'm sure that we'll be maintaining uh, same uh, margins. 
Okay, Mr. Kumar, we'd love to chat with you when you could share some numbers. So do promise us the Q2 interaction once your numbers uh, are out. Uh, and then we'll uh, you know, get a greater clarity on what the FI23 outlook looks like. Thank you very much uh, for joining in. That's uh, Realtel for you. Need to slip into a very short break. On the other side, we'll come back and discuss uh, markets. Uh,